Like I said, we got a little bit more of an intimate night here, so let's take advantage of it. All right, let's let the Lord really dive deep into your hearts and break what needs to be broken. Amen. Ah, there was a couple here. I don't know where they went. It was an older couple. Ah, right here. I saw you earlier. Can I speak to you? I want to talk to them now. I saw them before I even come out here. We'll get, all, we'll get started right. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to get into the word, but I want to be, I want to be obedient to what I saw. Uh-huh, that's right. Who is, who is this to you? Your sister and your brother-in-law. Mm-hmm. Can, I t- can I tell you what I saw yeah. when I was out there? Is that okay? Definitely. Where are you from? I'm from I'm here, Originally. I'm from Haiti. From Haiti. Mm-hmm. Ah, Mark. Ah, your, your, your nation is here, man. Yeah. Where are all the Haitians at? Ah. <laughs> Haiti shall be saved. Amen. Yeah. Ah. You have to take revival back to your people, man. Come on. Barbecue will be saved. We're going to get him, right? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I saw, I saw something when I was coming in, and I just want to be obedient to what I saw. Remember in the beginning I was talking about I saw some people had a death sentence against them? Now, I was looking more at this man, of, man right here, and it really disturbed me what I started to see in the spirit because I saw an attack against his health, and I saw that the enemy wants him to go soon. Is that, that, no, 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 amen. <laughs> Am I right, though? I, can I get a microphone? Guys, we are, we, do we have an extra microphone? Because I want, the, I want, I know that we're recording, and if I'm going to prophesy, I need, we need confirmation later. See, I, it's one thing to prophesy here. We want to see the results down the road, right? Because we want authentic prophecy. We want real things to happen. Uh. So what I, what I was saw, as I saw... It was like I saw a stretcher, and I saw these two beings pulling a stretcher up, wanting to take him out. And I felt the Spirit of the Lord told me, if I pray for you, this assignment to let you leave early will be extended. And what I really started to notice is what I was looking at is from here to here. I saw something going on in this area, right? Yes. And I felt like, I was feeling like it was here, but now the more I get close to him, I'm looking more at his heart. Is that right? That's right. You're telling the truth. Okay. You came specially for that. You came specially for that. Yes, for my sister. Okay. I had to get it started right. We got to break the ice. (laughs) Amen. It's called an icebreaker so that people can get open. It's called to build your faith. Tonight, we're going to see faith in action. So that's right. Do you you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, right? Pretty much. Stand close. Get on the other side. Uh, The issue is mostly, she's the one having some issue and that affected you. It affected you. Of course, you're one flesh. I'm doing pretty much taking care of her. Mm, It's stressing your heart. Uh, Can I Yes. And then my brother called me last night. Uh. Henry. Where? And Henry, get up. Ah, the brother is here. Yeah. Do I know and you? And he said he's been watching you for about two years, and he wants you to touch our sister. Ah, hmm? I believe the Holy Spirit has spoken. Listen, I was walking out that door, and I saw them, and I saw what I saw, and I'm telling you by the, by the Holy Spirit... The assignment against their life, what the enemy is trying to do, they're going to gain years. Do you understand? They will not leave early. You, you, you were married for a long time, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. You have children. Yes. You do. Yes, you do, yeah. It was a hesitation. No, no, not hesitation. Yes, you do. Yeah, what I'm saying is your kids probably want you for a little bit longer, right? Yes. You are sick too. You have sickness in your body. Oh, she wasn't that way. Ah, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Can you both stand in front of me right here? We're gonna break. We're gonna break this demonic curse. I'm gonna pray for both of you, and I believe Jesus is gonna set set your wife free and also extend your life. Amen. Okay. 
I need to speak into to the realm of the spirit. Father, I thank you so much for this man and woman. I know that you showed me what you showed me for a reason. I just saw something else. Who, 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 they, they were with someone that, and they made agreement with someone. It was like I saw a transference that happened. And what happened in this moment is there was a broken deal. So something was stolen from them. They had a lot of trust in something. There was some financial trust thing that happened. And I saw that this, this, this thing really messed up their finances. Mm-hmm. It was a, yeah, there's a person, though, and I believe it really had an effect on her also. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. I'm aware of what you're talking about uh-huh. because she's been having problems for a period of time. Uh-huh. And she n- never looked like that before. Uh-huh. And she, which means she's what is this changed. financial deal? What is this thing that was broken that really... Uh, someone had to do something for, for her uh-huh. to get well. And then it never happened. And mm. He took the money and never He happened. took the money. So, yeah. Hmm. I think this was a demonic assignment against her. And I think this is part of the reason that she was suffering the way that she is. Hmm? Let me do something. Can I see something? Bless you, Mama. We break right now every demonic assignment, everything that's tried to steal from her. Uh Yes, we break its power now. (sighs) Be free. All the way. In In the mighty name of Jesus. Every attack. I'm glad she loves you, man. Hold on. Everything, every death assignment against his life, I break its power now. For the enemy was coming to try to steal his life. It's his stomach too. Hold on. I command life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come here. Let me pray for you. More grace. Your words carry life. I want to tell you what, the, what I feel like the Lord is showing me. Your mouth speak life. You speak the life of the word over her. What I just prayed now, you will see them live. You will see their life extended. There's been, I would bet, 10 or more years added on to what they had. Okay? There will not be an early death. They will finish what they were supposed to do. The way she gets a sound mind and gets back into the way she was before is you find places in the word that talk about the mind. Let this mind that is in Christ be within you. You speak this over her mind. I promise you within a matter of months, you will see her come back into a sound mind because the the word breeds life and life more abundantly. So if you will continue to speak life over her, you will see her come back into her right mind. And that's an assignment the Lord wants to give you. Amen. Amen. You don't worry. The Lord has blessed you and your life is extended. Amen? Amen. 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 Give a hand clap to Jesus. I need a napkin. Uh, I shouldn't have wore a white shirt. My goodness. All right. Let's get into the word. Now, I know we're not live, but this will be up later. And I want to speak to the church as a whole. I want to speak to you guys, too. How many are from Miami? How many of you? How many are from another state? What state? You come, to, you come here from Massachusetts? Oh, there's purpose. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Uh, North Carolina, go on, stand up. Right. Indianapolis. Oh, Indianans are here, too. Okay. Amen. Welcome to the Forerunners. Georgia. England. Ah. The UK. You know I come there often, right? I come to UK often. Well, next time you do, I've got to know. Yeah, you just got to look on the website. Yeah. Oh, okay. I will be back in the UK next year. 
about around March, around that time. So keep an eye out. I will see you then. Okay. I'm also going to be, I'm going to be in the Netherlands in November. So maybe come see me there too. It'll be fun. Um, where else? Wow, North Carolina. So y'all, y'all wanted to come enjoy Miami, right? I know. It's a good trip. It's a good trip. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome guys. Thank you for taking the, making the sacrifice. Well, being obedient. Because your obedience is going to breed your blessing. Amen. See, here's the problem. When you guys come with faith, I want to preach the word. But then I start to see things when I start to look at people. Let me get to the word. But I will get to you. (laughs) Amen. The Lord likes to tell on us because he loves us, right? Amen. All right, let me read this really fast. And then I'm going to get into some other things, if that's okay. Can somebody say, I love the word? It is the key to life. Key to life. And I need it today. And I need it today. Amen. Amen. All right. Proverbs 18, 16 says this. A man's, y'all know this one. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. Now, the reason I'm reading this is because the country and the countries of the world are probably experiencing some of the biggest, craziest divisions we've ever seen. I've only been alive 36 years. I've never seen it this crazy. Where, where YouTube and these other places have given voices to people that are divisive big time. And what it's doing is it's hurting the church and it's hurting the people and it's fracturing the church. And what it's, what it's doing is it's stealing the blessings of the people. I'll give you an example. Just now I prophesied. To these people. The Lord showed me things. What you see today is the enemy will attack the gift. Say I'm hearing from another spirit and cause you not to get your blessing. What am I saying? When the Lord blesses you, don't let the enemy come and snatch it away. Huh? Gifts are from God. And as long as that gift is exalting who? Don't throw it away. If it points you to Jesus... If it makes you better in Christ, if it makes you go into your God-given destiny, don't listen to somebody on a couch and a computer screen. They won't even travel to your state. I'm only saying this because I want to see the church thrive in the supernatural power in this hour. Huh? Of course I love operating in it, but isn't it a lot better if we all operate in it? Isn't it better if we go into the, the dark streets of Miami, right? And we go to these clubs where you guys go all the time, right? And, and you tell the people the good news and show them the power of God. What if we all do that? Just this right here statistically can change a whole city. Statistically. A church that does all this can change a whole city. Miami can be saved by the people that are in this room. North Carolina can be saved by the people that came to this room. It's just you have to believe. Believe. You have to believe in a God who says yes to you first. It says he first loved you. He says he gave gifts to men. The greatest gift is salvation. The other nine is something you got to desire. I'll tell you this. You'll never do anything in Christ without faith. Because Hebrews 11.6 tells us it is impossible to please God unless you have faith those who diligently seek him will find him right but the only way to please him is by faith so you have to show him your faith that means you make a move and you trust that he'll back you up there's no secret ingredient man just faith faith is the substance of things hoped for how many of you have a hope for something how many of you want to go further than where you are right now huh? how many of you want to go from glory to glory Exactly, man. Come on. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence. So what there is is there's a hope, and you take a step, and then you shut every mouth up because what you hope for is manifested for all to see, and then God gets the glory. I've heard so many stories. I got stories of my own. You'll walk into a place. You'll say, this is mine, and people will go, you're crazy, and you say, watch my God. When's the last time you walked into somewhere and said, hey, owner of this place that is very unrighteous, I want to tell you something. God has given me your place. 
<laughs> When's the last time you walked into a psychic shop or witchcraft shop and said, hello, I come with a power stronger than yours? We are going to shut down the devil's business today. And I'm going to cause this, yeah. And I'm going to cause this place to become God's business. Watch this. I'm going to, ch I'm going to change your mind on something. And watch, I'm telling you, it's crazy thinking. See, Christians go and they're like, we're shutting the business down. Watch. Actually, it should be, I'm going to get the person that owns the business saved. And now it's going to go from the psychic business to a teddy bear business that gives them to orphans. Do you see what I'm saying? So the shop has changed. It has been turned upside down for the glory of God. So we shouldn't want to just make things desolate. What, what God does is he removes the problem. and Exactly. And he makes all things new. So he, what springs forth? A new thing. What once was dead is now alive. What once was desolate is now prospering. So... You know, you can go down on the streets down here in Miami and you see Santeria, everything. Everything. You see the cigars, you see it all over the place. And I'm like, man, where is the church? Where, why ain't we uh, tagging everything? You know, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Let's put the dove everywhere. Let's let them know the Holy Ghost is on the scene. Yeah. Become revival everywhere you go. Look, really funny story. I'm down, I'm down yesterday. I'm evangelizing because I just like to do it. I've been, that's what got me where I am today. I stay on the streets. So I go out on the streets. We're standing there. An Uber car pulls up. These, these women come right out the car and meet us, ready to go out, have a good time, and they run right into the Christians, right? Yeah. Funny part is when they get out of the car and they meet us, I tell them to follow me after we've ministered to them. I say, hey, man, follow me on uh, Instagram. One of the women picks up the phone. She looks at her friend and she goes, oh my goodness, your husband follows this man. <laughs> Pretty wild. Watch. Call the husband. The husband's freaking out. Whoa! The whole thing. Nobody knew. But that just, what does that show? In the right place, at the right time. If I had not been in that place at that time, somebody might have missed the blessing. Yeah. You understand? You are somebody's answer to prayer. No, it's true. You know why some prayers are not answered? Because somebody's not being obedient. Do you know why we still see death? Because somebody's not bringing life. Huh? You know why we still see sin running rampant? It's because people aren't bringing grace. They're bringing condemnation. Because where sin abounds... Grace abounds. See, we got too many people on the church corner sending people to hell that are already going to hell. It says the goodness of God will lead them to repentance. You got to give them good news. They already got enough bad. <laughs> no, it's true. I don't understand it. We go out and event. Repent, you dirty whoremongering homo, this and that. I mean, they know that. Like they know that. You're just telling them what they know. What if you go give them a word of knowledge about their, their grandfather that's passing away? What happens if you go to them and you prophesy something they didn't think that you would ever know? You tell them the destiny. You see, there's a way to go about it that you'll have big results. What if you step out there and instead of spilling the condemnation, hey, I bet now if any of you crazy folk come here to this crazy man right here, you'll be healed. I challenge all of you. Like, do crazy stuff, man. And then preach the good news. It says, what did Jesus do? He sent them out two by two. He said, heal the sick. Cast out demons. Did he say, go get your banner and scream, everybody's going to hell? No. He said, go two by two and enter in where they'll allow you. And if they don't, dust your feet off and move on. So we're, we're missing formulas that Jesus has given us that are proven to work. Why am I talking about this? Because God has people in here tonight. He's trying to get them activated. He's trying to get somebody to speak and get the fear of man off of their life. The Bible says the fear of man is a snare. What is a snare? Some, it's like a bear trap. You step in it and it won't let you go nowhere. If you fear what a person thinks, you'll never tell them where they really need to go. It's true, though. 
Are you guys tracking with me? I'm trying to keep it simple because I know we got all different types of levels of believers in here. Some of you are probably like brand new and like, what am I doing here? It's okay. You're going to find out. <laughs> I'm listening to God in a Fear God shirt that's sweating. I mean, it's good for you, though. It's like medicine to the soul, right? Amen. I like to teach the word. Um, do we know about the centurion? <clears throat> do y'all know that? Amen. Send the word. Oh, all right, now you're getting into the message. Give me just a second. So, I want to read about the uh, centurion in Matthew 8. Can we turn there? If we have our Bibles. I'll give you a secret. You need your Bible. Matthew 8, 5 to 13. If we can turn there. I want to read this, and I want to break it down with you, okay? Now, when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented and Jesus said to him I will come and heal him just like Jesus right I'll come handle business the centurion answered and said Lord I am not worthy that you should come under my roof but only speak a word and my servant will be healed for I also am a man under authority having soldiers under me and I say to this one go and he goes and to another come and he comes and to my servant do this and he does that when Jesus heard it he marveled And said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such a great faith, not even in Israel. I'm going to stop there. Actually, I'll keep going. And I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into outer darkness. They will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. Now... What I love about this is the centurion understood the power of the word, the spoken word. His revelation was this man has authority. When he speaks, it does something. I've seen it with my eyes. All I need to hear is it's done, and it's done. It's that simple, actually. It's just where is your faith? So Jesus was like, whoa, that man's got some faith on him. He said, it's done. Jesus is the word made manifest, right? God in flesh. That means when Jesus speaks, he creates. When Jesus speaks, things happen. Now, let me, let me take you a little bit deeper on something. Who carries Christ today? When you speak, do things happen? <clears throat> Because you carry the creator inside of you. So actually, when you speak something, it's supposed to come to pass. But let me take you a little bit further on this. You must know the mind of God. And you must speak like him. You must walk like him. You must talk like him because Jesus was led by the spirit who let him hear his father And he said, I only do what I see my father doing. I only say what I hear my father saying. So the way that you get his results is you become like him. And you get God results. Awesome job on the hair. Wonderful. My wife was so blessed. She was beautiful. Now she's even more. Amen. I didn't think it could happen, but you did wonderful. She does great hair, by the way. All right. (laughs) Amen. I got to, you know. Um. But the centurion knew something about Jesus that a lot of people were missing. And it's because he was a man of authority. So he understood that if he tells his soldiers to do something, can I take you a little deeper? I'll take you a little deeper. There is a whole realm out here that you cannot see unless your eyes open up. Some people go, how did you see that? How do you know that? I see. I see behind the veil. The veil has been lifted. I'm right behind it. Well, how do you do that? I just got a great imagination and it's sanctified. Ain't that wonderful? (laughs) But when you speak, there is so many ministering spirits. Do you hear me? When Jesus spoke, it went into the realm of the spirit. An angel said, bing, 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 bing. And he goes, pow. He took the word. 
Just like something takes a curse, <laughs> something takes a blessing. <laughs> you get it? Lord, bless that person. Angel goes, <laughs> There's angels waiting to work by your words. You know that. But most people are scared because they think if they speak a blessing, a familiar spirit will grab it and do something. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. No, it's an angels are working on your behalf. The Lord of angel armies go before you. They are preparing the way. That's why we say, Lord, send your angels to prepare the atmosphere. Now, may nobody be hindered getting here today. May no witchcraft from any family member, friend, co-worker hinder people from getting to their blessing today and what happens as a believer the angels go that sounds like Jesus speaking because you are you are covered in his blood he is on the inside of you same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead they recognize the voice of his spirit not that you're Jesus let me make sure I qualify but they hear him speaking through you because his spirit is speaking and then they take the blessing where it needs to go now, with this revelation, if somebody in here has somebody that has something going on, if you take me as a man who carries a prophetic anointing, then when I speak, <laughs> testify. You know what I'm saying? If you say, be healed, you are healed. If I say, you demon, you come out of the body now. Look, sometimes I wonder if demons have more faith than people. Because <laughs> they listen better than people do. <laughs> it always blew my mind. People are more rebellious sometimes than a demon. Because a demon has to kick, scream, and still go. You tell the fleshly human to do something, they want to fight you in the flesh. <laughs> you know why? Because you're a spirit, just like they're a spirit. The only difference is you are redeemed, they are not. You were made in his image. Your spirit is made in his image. Their spirit was not made in his image. So they are disembodied spirits that don't bear the image of the all-knowing God. But you do. Did you catch what I just said? You carry more rank and authority in the realm of the spirit than you know. It's just some of you are not very aware of it. Why would, let me ask you something. Why would you let a little demon that you actually are over rule your life? You are, a, you are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Do you understand? Demons are stuck in second heaven. They can't get no higher unless God would let them do that, come up there or something. But other than that, why are you letting a voice other than the voice of the Holy Spirit dictate your life and move you in directions you shouldn't go? Put you in places you shouldn't be in. Lead your feet to somebody who doesn't care about you. Huh? Think about it. Why? Why are you listening to that? And, and, and it should convict you in this way. It should convict you in the sense of, wow, I've really been putting myself in a place that I don't belong. I've been living with the pigs instead of living in the royal palace. Are you not royalty? Are you not 1 Peter 2, 9, a royal priesthood? Huh? A chosen people, right? Holy nation? I think you are. So knowing this, if any of you in here are dealing with demonic bondage, let's be honest with one another. We got a decent-sized crowd, right? How many of you really feel like a demon is having a heyday in your life. Aren't you tired of it? Ain't it getting on your nerves? Yeah, it's getting on your nerves. Well, guess what? Today you have every right under the anointing of the Holy Spirit to tell that sucker to get out of your life, man. You know? Reinhard Bonnke, great man of God. I remember he said this. He said, a fly can't land on a hot Stove. Demons can't land on hot people. You know what I'm saying? If you're burning with the fire of God, it's like, you know, you're like a bug zapper for Jesus. Watch, I'll take it even further. 
You ready? Some people simply don't like you because you're shining too bright for them. But you think something's wrong with you. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm scared to get around people. They're like, whoa, I like you, man. Wow, wow, wow. You're so like, whoa, supernatural, right? And then they get a little closer, and they go, I don't like how he's doing this and that, blah, blah. Now, all of a sudden, what you love, you hate. Come on. Eh, you know what it is? I didn't change. Something in you don't like what I'm bringing. Do you see? So some of you are going through intense rejection because you want people to like you that God isn't wanting to like you. He's wanting you to get away from these people because they are contaminating your life. And you need to stop worrying about them so much because God has somebody set in place to handle them. It's just not your assignment. Some of you are held up because you're trying to have an assignment over something that you aren't meant to be assigned to. Does that make sense? Ah, the Lord, I hear people sometimes, and you can't say nothing because they say, God said, God told me I'm supposed to save this person. And I say, well, why are you talking to me? I thought you said God said you shouldn't have to go hear anybody else confirm it. God said it. Well, did he really say it? You, <laughs> you said he said it. They want me to override God's word. Who am I to override what God said? But then that person will get ready to save a person. I know I'm speaking to somebody. They'll get ready to save a person. They get with the person and they find out God didn't say. Now they want a divorce and everything else. But I thought God said y'all were meant to be together. I thought he was or she was the best thing since. That's yes, right. <laughs> since sliced bread. Amen. Y'all speak in my southern language there. Yeah. Sliced bread. You see what I'm saying? No. And then you find out, ah, oh, man, there was some mold all over that. Ah, oh, my God. And thank God for grace is what we say, right? <laughs> but you don't need to save somebody that you're not assigned to save. Jesus is, first of all, the Savior. We ain't called to save anybody. Right? So, sometimes people think I'm a little rough. They'll come up. They're holding hands. They've been smoochy smooching and everything. And I'll look at them and I'll be like... You're already smooching. There's another spirit between you. And I know if you're smooching, you touch something else. So I mean, <laughs> no, it's true. It's hard truth, but it's truth. Because if the Holy Spirit is in anything in a relationship, there's purity. There's holiness. There's I honor the vessel. It's not mine. But when I marry you, it's all mine. Do you see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I mean, that's biblical. I mean, if you think you're supposed to be doing other stuff, you got a bad doctrine. And you probably heard something twisted. You know, our body is valuable. Y'all want to move in great power, right? Yes. Great glory? Yes. Protect your temple. Come on. You want to increase? You don't want to decrease. Amen. You decrease with immorality. Yes. You increase with morality. <laughs> Everybody's like, ah! Lord, use me great. And the Lord's like, die a little more. He's like, go a little bit lower. Lord, I want to see great miracles. I want, you know, I always, I laugh at the younger people. I remember when I first came in, I was like, crusades everywhere, millions of people. Everybody's going to know who I am. Ten people. Twenty people. Years go by. Fifty people. Until finally... After I've died 15, 20, 5,632 times, I have now stood in front of thousands of people, you know. But I didn't realize there was a process of sanctification and getting myself ready to handle his glory, not my glory. God gets a vessel prepared to handle his glory, each and every one of you. Like I look at this woman of God. I saw you worshiping. Ah, your love for God is deep. You have a strong love. I can hear you had the cry, the depth. I was like, ah, this is so amazing. I didn't even see you here. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. So I started to, when I saw you here, I said, okay, there's an intercessor call here because only intercessors scream that way. <laughs> She's also probably going to tell you how things are going to go. 
probably not going to hold back. I started to, um, I saw you as a sword, a sword. The Lord will swing you in directions to handle certain people that need to be handled. Come on, I'll talk, I'll talk to you. As we were walking, I started to walk. Oh, now, now I'm walking in the spirit, okay? What's your name? Latoya. Latoya, as I was walking, and I, as you were coming up, you can face this way. I was walking. You don't have to walk with me. I, I started to walk with a gentleman. I said, what is this? And he said, he said, Daniel, ask her about that man that gave all that trouble. And I said, huh? Why are you laughing? <laughs> I was like, who is this? Huh? What did you say? Yeah, it's one. And I said, what? And, and, and the reason I think he was showing me this was because of the investment you gave to somebody that kind of kept you in the lane of what, you, what I'm trying to tell you is you are not quite where you need to be in the spirit, in ministry, because of some hangups. They came through some relational troubles with an individual. Do you know this individual? This is not a now thing. Mm -hmm. This is a past. Yes. 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 I'm yes. not talking about yes. now. Yes. Okay. I'm talking about because here's what happens sometimes. We end up in traumas. And this is t typical, right? But we don't realize when a trauma hits, it can actually subliminally hide itself. And then it starts to play into areas of our life that we don't even realize is playing in the areas of life. So we all have tent pegs. And that's why the prayer of Jabez says, increase your tent pegs. I feel like the spirit of the Lord wants you to prophesy deeper than you do now. Amen. 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 I feel like the, the, the Lord has called you. I'm taking a minute because I'm seeing a picture play out, and I'm seeing these multitudes of women. And I'm, I'm seeing you like that sword. And you were just swinging that. And I was asking a little, why is she this sword that I see her swinging so much of, of like what she's doing? What you're doing with your words with these women that have come through relational hardships, you're used as a sword to get rid of that extra mess that has grown through them so it's like the word comes and wah, the word comes and wah, and you put a barrier of protection around them it's almost like the lord is calling you to mother many there is a season that is coming and i, I heard the spirit of the lord and i have to say this there has to be provision for what he wants you to Amen. do there cannot be poverty. Amen. You are one who will bring justice. You are one who has been called like a Deborah in this hour to lead a people into place that they're supposed to be. You understand? Because the way you cry here in worship and you scream here in worship is the way you do it when nobody is looking. And the Lord can honor a vessel like that and he can pour his glory into a vessel that is like that. In the mighty name of Jesus today, your portion increases in Jesus' name. It is yours. It is yours. Multitudes upon multitudes of women. Traumas being healed, even as I have spoken to you and breathed life on you today. Every area of trauma that had not been dealt with is being dealt with. Nobody will come steal what is holy and belongs to the Lord. Give a hand clap to, the, to Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Hallelujah. Now, how did you end up with a microphone and a camera, man? You said, I'm here to serve. Uh, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I, I didn't know you were here to serve. You were here to serve? Did you tell them you would serve? No? Mark, you put them on, you put them on business? This man. Mm. You must know a secret. You've done two blessed things since you got here. I'm not going to tell nobody what you did first, but I know what you've done now. <laughs> you know, I love it. I love it when people come in and they're like, what can I do? 
I, I saw him just like every, I'm like, and now he's on the camera. What, what is this? Come here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Look, I know his faith. He's going to say yes to everything I say. <laughs> Listen, we, we, we're going to be real with each other, okay? All right? I want, I want it to be on point what I say. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prophesy what the, what the Lord has showed me 10 years into your future. Amen. Okay? Now, this is what prophecy does. It foretells what's to come. It foretells. Now, I know you said you're from Haiti, right? Okay. The reason you did what you did is because you, sir, have an apostolic mantle on you. Prophesy. Yes. Now that's the simple part of the word. <laughs> that's easy. That's not hard. Because what I saw, the reason I didn't see that at first, but I saw it now. You partake of grace that you pour into, right? Yes. Okay. I tell you 10 years from now, I keep seeing the number 10. You know what the number 10 means in the Bible? Uh, it's one thing, yes, but... I think 10 is 10. Somebody looked at it. I think it's government. Is it government? 12 is. What's 10? 12 is government. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not a big numbers guy. Dominion. Help me out, though. I want to know for sure because I want to prophesy off of 10. Everybody's on their phone. Come on. We got chat GPT. We got Google. <laughs> Most, a lot of preachers teach off of Jet, Chat GPT. They don't have no revelation no more. <laughs> huh? Totality. Righteousness, responsibility. Watch this, watch this. It says, what does the number 10 in Hebrew mean? And it's osher, meaning wealth. Okay. Hang tight. So all of this makes sense. Because what? Divine law. Divine judgment. Amen. Judgment. Amen. Watch. Listen to what I say. Ten years, perfection, all that stuff. It t completeness. Ten years, you mark a word, you write this down. I'm not saying you're not going to be blessed between the ten. Ten years from now, there will be ten churches under you. Oh, <laughs> you can stand there. There, could be, there will be ten churches under you. But I want to tell you about the assignment. I don't see a ring. You're not married. You are married? Yes. Okay. So every man don't wear a ring. It's because I need to tell you something. And there's a warning. Ten years. Okay. Ten churches. Not in this nation. In another nation. Possibly your old nation. Just hang tight. Hold on. I saw in the midst of this 10-year span, I saw something step in. I saw a woman. I warn you now, by the fifth year, watch out for her. She's going to try to stop everything you do, and this will be sent. Now, I'm getting deep now. This will be sent by another minister that says you need to sleep with a woman to have the 10 churches. You rebuke that thing in Jesus' name. Amen. And you say, not today, Satan. Not today, Satan. When that fifth year comes, look out for this. And this should be a happy moment for you because you're going to remember the voice of this man of God yes. saying, this is the moment I'm talking about. You pass this test where the enemy wants to come and attack you. You pass it. Your character builds. The glory builds. Now you're prepared for what God is going to do in the next five, which is the number of grace. Prophesy. Okay. But starting today, because I've released this in the spirit, hear me out, because I've released this in the spirit, the time of process, pruning, and sanctification starts now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and you are, man of God, you are sent, you are not went. That means you are sent into the mission field, you are sent into the call because of your heart of humility. And the Lord is also going to handle some father things in your heart so that you can be fathered appropriately. The Lord is going to make you a father to so many amazing people. There's great grace on you in Jesus' name. Amen. Give a hand clap to Amen. the Lord. Amen. 
So when you prophesy, we, we got to prophesy the good stuff, but we also have to prophesy the assignments that come. And that's what a lot of people don't do is they don't say that there's going to be things that happen between the process. But now I've told him, so when it comes, you can say, I saw it coming. I knew it was coming. Amen. You write the word down. You graduated 22 years ago? Oh, you graduated 22 days ago from Bible college. Well, <laughs> let the words be so, man of God. <clears throat> you know, you know what, 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 what preacher comes to me when I look at you? Did you know Miles Monroe? Did you know Miles Monroe? No. You never heard of Miles Monroe? No. Great apostolic man. Great teacher of the word. Some people know who I'm talking about. You're, you, I think you carry something similar. I'm just going to hold it right there. You'll know later what I say. We talk later. We talk later. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Ah, who else needs a word? I think all of us do. Amen. <laughs> Listen, I can get you easy. You're not hard. You know, you already know that, Jason, right? You already know, Jason. You already know that you have been processed. You already know you've been through the fire, up, down, all around, been rejected, been spit out, have not have been looked at like somebody who's crazy that's always coming around to make big messes and everything. But you, but you know that the trouble was worth it. Yes, sir. Okay. You know what I also saw? Now, you need to tell me, why, why, was, why is the, I'm really seeing this heart. And I feel like the enemy wanted to take your heart out. Because I have so much love for Jesus. Yeah. I love people. I yeah. love showing the love of Jesus because I was lost, but I was found where I went through that fire, being sure. in those gangs and drugs and being a general for Satan. Now switching teams is the best decision I've ever made. Right. So, right. But this is what I'm seeing on this side, right? right? Is the disappointment of ministers carrying a heavy burden for those people that don't understand within the church. It hurts. It hurts to see what's going on. Exactly. It, really do, it does hurt uh -huh. to see men of God, you know, falling out because they're not being delivered. They're not being uh -huh. set free. And, you know, the remnant army is rising. Uh -huh. And, you know, I just, uh, maybe I just want you to pray over me uh -huh. and just uh, cover me. No, we're going to keep on launching. The remnant sure. army is coming up. People with You'll, gold teeth, uh, tattoos. <laughs> God is calling the unqualified to be qualified yes. to bring and, the gospel yes. of Jesus Christ. So you're never, you're never. Yes, she needs she, Who's she? She's my friend. Okay. Your friend? Yes. Okay. The greatest grace for what you are doing. Now, look, you've never had a problem getting, a, getting near great men of God. You've right. never had that problem. No. Notice how you get there. That also is on you for government. I don't know if you know that. Really? Mayors. Okay. okay. Pay attention to what I... Hold on. Go Pay ahead. attention to what I'm saying. What God has given you is only going to increase the gift that I said in the beginning makes a way from a man, for a man, right? right. Yes, sir. What will happen here in the near future is you're going to start doing things with what God has given you. Right. And governments will back you with support so you'll be able to reach more people. Amen. You're, you're going to be seen. What you're doing is going to be seen and known because you also have a heart not only to just be the evangelist with the mouth. You also like to give. Right. And you want to give shirts. You want to give these things. Right. And all, you'll have government backing from this. Amen. I receive it. Amen. I receive it. Thank you. So, Father, I thank you for this mighty man of God. I thank you for the grace on his life. I thank you that he loves you and he loves your people and he loves this city, Miami. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray right now in, the mighty, in your mighty name that you will give him the favor with the people of government so that he can be provided for for the things he needs as he goes and he reaches what people don't want to deal with. So Lord, bless him in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, what do you want, man? What do you want? <laughs> what do you need? Hold on. Hold on. Who's, who's he with? Uh, hey, come, come. I guess he Hold got himself. He got up here, so you're going to help him out, right? 
This is your grandson? Oh, he does. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. He has what? He has autism. Spectrum disorder. Oh, but he doesn't have full-blown autism, though. I don't know. Okay. High functioning? Okay. Yeah. You want him to be healed? Yes. Is that why you brought him? Yes. Listen, Jesus can heal anybody. Amen. Amen. He can restore anybody. Yeah. The young man has to be an evangelist to do what he's doing. Hey. Yes, he does. He has to we be. We had um, other prophets prophesy on him that he will be great man of God mm. when he grows up. Absolutely. He wouldn't come and do what he did unless he isn't, right? Amen. Listen, I don't want you to worry for this boy. I know you have a worry as a grandmother. The miracles happening. Amen. And it's going to, he's 10? How old is he? 9, 10? 8. He's 8 years old? By the year, look, look at me, mama. 15 years old. You'll see the man of God he's been prophesied to be. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm going to pray for you, okay? Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You want to preach the gospel? Yeah. You're going to be a great man of God? Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command this young man to become everything he's been prophesied to be. May all this lying demonic stuff of the enemy, this sickness called autism, I command it to go and I command his mind to become normal and I command him, his mouth, to preach the word to millions, millions upon millions upon millions in Jesus' name. <laughs> It's yours. <laughs> Amen. Come here, mama. Amen. Where are you from? I was born in Haiti. Okay. I grew up on the Turks and Caicos Islands. Yeah. Turks and Caicos. Yes. Okay, I've been there. Yeah. Okay. He lives with you? Yes. Where's his parents? They are home. They're home? Mm hmm Okay. He lives with his mom, my daughter. Oh, he does? Yes. Okay. The father is not together. The father's not together. What? Your husband? He's gone. Gone. Dead. Yeah. I huh? saw him get taken away. That's why I'm asking. I don't think he was supposed to go when he went. Is that right? Yeah, it was, it was not supposed to happen the way it happened. Did he have failure? Yes. Heart failure? Um, I record it. I'm not trying to bring up old memories. I'm just yeah. trying to, I'm going to show you what I'm doing, okay? Okay. Okay, it was, he had failure. That was the yeah. thing. Okay. So, it's more of a word of encouragement for you, okay? You are not going to keep seeing your loved ones leaving this, what, this place early. People that you have prayed so much for. These people, the enemy thinks he can just come and mess with you and just take people from you. You've even seen in your life, I don't know what you did for work and stuff, but you even saw people that you were close to that just, just falling like flies left and right. What's going to happen with you today is when people get attached to you, their life will be extended. You will be a life yes. extender. Hallelujah. You will now see the blessings of the Lord. <laughs> it's yours. Yes, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. I, can't, I told y'all, when I came in here earlier, I, I saw death assignments. Uh -huh. You need help. What do you need help with? It looks like I wanted to kill myself. See, I told you. body like it's like being peeled inside out like yeah. the love I once had is just hate and I don't want to hate God because he was there for me but nobody was there for me it, and it's like I, I can't even explain myself it's just like I've been muffled hey 
You know, I've seen people that are legitimately schizophrenic. You are not legitimately schizophrenic. I feel like I'm high, like I have a uh -uh. grip. This is the enemy. This is a demon. This is a spirit lying to you. You understand? And it was so much perversion trying to make me yeah. feel you, like Jesus wanted. You were fragmented. This was from a young age. This has been hitting you from really little. This started, you had, you've been, you know what fragmented means? No. It means you've been pushed into many different parts. Yeah. You got this personality of you, this personality of you, this per, come here, let me help you. Oh. Amen. <clears throat> I want to ask you a question. Regardless of all the lies and what you feel, do you believe that Jesus Christ can set you free? Yes. Do you believe he can heal your mind? Yes. Okay, I'm going to find out right now if this is a true demonic issue. All right? Look mm -hmm. at me. Hold on. Don't say nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything hiding in this woman, trying to take her life. Expose yourself now. Huh? Huh? Every lying spirit, every spirit of death, every spirit that's made her think she's schizophrenic, that's wanted to fragment her, I command it to be broken now. I'm going to touch your head, okay? Because the problem is here. Ah. Uh, can I tell you what I saw? I got to speak in code because I don't want to put all your business out there. Did you have a lot of trouble with men? Yeah. Were you done wrong by a lot of men? Yeah. Because I saw some things. And I believe this damaged your connection. Because God has looked at like a father. You know? So making a father-daughter connection has not been easy, right? Do you believe Jesus loves you? Yeah. Do you love him? Mm -hmm. I asked you another key question. Do you believe he's rejected you? Yeah. That's the problem. You are not rejected. The moment you come out of agreement with that lie, your mind becomes whole. Every demonic thing that's afflicting you will leave your body. You understand? Somebody in your family, I don't know who this person is. It looks like a woman. It's probably an older woman. Somebody was very much into witchcraft. Very much into witchcraft. And I saw you come... Was your mother into that or no? No. No? She's but, born on Christmas, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw somebody come through the womb. Mm. And it was, like, it was like as they were coming through the womb, it was an inheritance that was just passing through the womb. You understand? That was not supposed to be coming down. Mm -hmm. And I believe wherever this is back, like, like, I believe Jesus became the curse, but sometimes things that are undealt with, things that we are unaware of, like to try to hang on on the way down. I believe this has followed you down from your generations. Mm -hmm. You understand? And this generational curse is not your portion. Mm -hmm. It says every man who was hung on a tree was cursed. Jesus was hung on a tree, right? So you're blessed because of what he did. You are not an exception to the rule. You are not meant to leave this earth. You're not meant to be suicidal. You understand? You are loved because Jesus first loved you. You got to stop listening to the lie. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to do something for you. Okay. Who is here? Flavia, come here. What I want somebody to do if it's okay, because I, and I want to pray for you again. Okay. But we need some help with some forgiveness in your heart towards yourself and stuff. I want one of my team members to take you, work through some of this stuff, and then come back over here to me. Is that okay? Yeah. Would you be willing to do that? Mm -hmm. I want to get you really helped. Yeah. I don't want to just go, ah, praise God, clap your hands. I want to be real. We need to help you help you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You need some truth. Yeah. All right. Can you help her? Flavia will help you. You can go in that room right there. Maybe one other woman go with her. Amen. Amen. Teamwork makes the dream work. Hallelujah. Ah, everybody needs help. What do you need? <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I'm going to do a mass prayer. Demon's going to throw up a lot. Just hold on. Just hang tight. I got you. I'm going to help you out. 
We're going to pray here in a minute. I'm just, I'm just getting past some of the stuff that the Lord wants me to do, okay? It's going to, yeah, see, it'll come out. Just hang tight. We're going to get it. Look, they hung in there for a long time. <laughs> yeah, just cough them out. Let them out. Can I get, are you good with playing behind me? Ah, uh, she's really getting set free, huh? Oh yeah, she's really she's really got it going on. If they're coming out, they're coming out. I want to do a mass prayer for people to be set free. Is that okay? I want to do a little something I call Holy Ghost spotlighting. I want to see where these demons are hanging out in your life. Listen, not everybody has a demon problem some people have a discipline problem <laughs> am I right not everybody has a demon problem some people have a discipline problem I want to speak to you now I want to speak to you then I'm going to go into mass deliverance come here the one North Carolina girl right there yeah come on we're not done guys I, I'm going to do a lot more I just want to I want to deal with uh some of the stuff in the atmosphere concerning the demonic. So you drove here for? Uh, to be activated. Oh, you want to be activated? Yes. Okay. Well, good choice. We'll help you out. Okay. All right. Is that all you want? I'm sure there's more. started to see a picture of you beautiful picture the Lord started to show me um, I saw before you a golden road and I'm trying I was trying to figure this thing out you know that's why I was taking a minute to talk to you I saw two you have children mm, yeah. do you want children a lot <laughs> You want a lot of children? Like seven. Like seven? Yeah. Amen. It is finished. If you go eight, you get new beginnings. <laughs> I'm just, I'm on four. I want five and I'm graced up. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I saw, the, I saw this golden road. And the reason I asked you if you had children is because I saw on your left and right side your inheritance. And I saw your children. I saw two though. And I believe what I'm seeing is you walking with these children. Oh my goodness. And the picture is just coming alive. It's like a whole painting is before me. And as I see you walking uh, down this golden road, I started to see oaks rising on either side. And I'm like, Lord, why are these oaks, these mighty oaks rising on either side of this gold road? I believe there's something significant with your children being seeds planted that will plant other seeds and these seeds as you walk on the road of prosperity not only financially but in family as you walk on this road what you create is going to also create mighty oaks I even feel like the children that you bear will also I saw the nation Israel I felt like there will be something with your family affecting Israel. Why does that make you emotional? That's good. God's good. And I feel like, as we know, Jesus says that Israel is the apple of his eye. We know physically and then the spiritually stuff too, right? <clears throat> I believe he's showing me Israel also to show you how much you are the apple of his eye. So there is a value that is being increased in your life right now. And I'm seeing nothing but prosperity. I am not seeing poverty. I'm not seeing a dark spirit coming after you. I have seen nothing but the promises that you and God have between yourselves. It says, blessed is the one who have many children, for they are like arrows in the quiver. 
you can shoot them out. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so that's what you will have. Arrows that will be shot to nations. Amen. So that means you're a mother of many nations. Amen. You must carry Abraham's blessing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I saw the beginning, and I'm going to prophesy that because of your faith to come here today, your beginning starts now. Amen. Amen. The first day of the rest of your life is now. Amen. That means whatever's been back here stays where it is. Behold, I make all things new. What was old has passed away. See, the problem is the reason we have so much demonic problems is we focus on things that has, should have been buried with you at baptism. Wow. Wow. It's true, right? I'm baptized. I'm born again. Oh, I remember back in 1963. <laughs> you don't get to think about that no more. <laughs> we look towards the future. What did Jesus say? Let the dead bury the dead. Bury the dead. If it's in the ground, you keep going till you're in the ground and in heaven. Amen? Amen? Let the past be the past. You can't change the past, but what you can change is the future. future. Your future is bright. Amen. Now, no, I, I, people don't wear rings as much today. You can't. You married yet? Not yet. Okay. So we got a call, hey, yeah. in the spirit yeah. to be beside you. Right. But you're picky. I am. <laughs> Stay picky. Because you'll know when it's right. Okay. <laughs> Amen. You're probably around my age, right? 35. 35. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a quick and in a hurry. Yes. Suddenly, <laughs> I saw him. <laughs> and look, I'm, I'm not trying to do mates, dates, babies, okay? But she needs him. Lord, she needs him. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> so I'm touching and agreeing for you. Amen. So that your children can come. Amen. Thank you. And just make sure you don't wait on that too long either, okay? That part. All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We'll activate you. Look, I can only give you what God has given. And I do have children. I do have a wonderful wife that, we, that I love her very much. So I believe that I can... Pray for that great, prosperous, prosperous marriage. You know, the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Yeah. It doesn't say he who finds a husband. <laughs> <coughs> finds a good thing and obtaineth favor. 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 So you're somebody's favor piece. You know what I'm saying? That's right. yes. Ladies, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how many ain't married, but you're somebody's favor Take my hand. Today, the grace of God that you came to receive, that you wanted, not only for prophesying, not only for seeing healings and miracles, yeah, but it's for your family, for your marriage, for your future. Now prosper. I'm going to breathe. It's yours. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we can do better than that. I saw you yesterday, right? And you came today. Wow. Well, thank you for coming. No, behind you. Yeah, we, we met each other in the taco spot. She had already saw me. I thought somebody was going to fight me in there last night. Because you were talking to me. <laughs> he was like, that's my cousin. I thought he was going to beat me up. No, he's my neighbor. Oh, your neighbor? Yeah. Oh, he was very protective over you. I don't know why. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, homeboy, I'm married. I don't want nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, but you know what? I know that we met and we talked last night, but just the fact that you would step in the atmosphere and come back tonight shows that your heart is really for the things of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know? And I don't know if this will make a lot of sense to you now, but I believe what you're doing unknowingly is you're activating a hidden gift, a prophetic gift that has been inside of you. I saw the enemy pressing down this gift by trying to shut your mouth 
not allowing you to be able to speak and be as vocal as you should be. And actually, you have become vocal. It's just not been the right vocal. You know what I mean? But it's, go ahead. So I, re- like, so I just came back to Miami, and then I joined a church. And I remember I, I was like saying to God, like, is this supposed to be my personality? Am I too strict? Am I too mean? Uh. And then I went to like a, a crew, like a Bible study group. And I, I was just like, God, is something wrong with me? Like, am I not uh. supposed to be like this? And I asked the people, can I, like, it was time to pray. And I said, can I be the person to pray? And as soon as I prayed, it was like, I rem- it was like, God said to me, it's like, you have to, you have to pray. Like, you have to speak out loud, mm-hmm. you know? And, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. That gift, whew, it's a prophetic intercessory gift. That gift is coming alive even more than what it was before. Let no enemy shut your mouth. Amen. When the Lord says speak, we speak. Amen. Amen. Today, the Lord gives you permission to speak to people and to bring them into victory and to tell them exactly what they need to hear. That means you have a deliverance anointing on your life too. All of us are called deliverance ministers, but some of us have a little bit more grace. Like this woman, I told her she's a sword, you're a sword too. Slice, dice, tell them what's up and love them, love the hell out of them, you know? Yeah. You got it, girl. Amen. 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 All right, so let me talk about um, something else. A word with faith is powerful. That means when I release the word, that's what I was talking about in the centurion, right? When I release this word, if there is anything demonic attacking your life understand when i release the word and i tell it to go it has no choice but to go this is the way it works when i command demons to leave you'll hear that thing talk Nah, i'm not really here not i can't have nothing i'm a good old christian even though i sinned last night for fun you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that voice will start to start to talk to you to try to stay in there. One of the things I see that hinder Christians the most is they don't come to Lord and say, here I am, Lord. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. Do what you have to do. If you come like that, there is nothing that can stop you. You're literally like, I lose dignity. I don't care if I, my shoes flop in the floor. Just get this thing out of me. Set me free. Break this thing off of me. Holy Spirit, whatever it takes, if that is your mentality, then I promise you by the grace of Jesus Christ that the Holy Spirit will visit you in this place tonight and set you free, completely free. Uh, This is your... Y'all are just here together? Very common to your generation is, um, I don't think this is a now thing. I think the Lord has given me a word of knowledge about something that was previous. Now, you're, I thought about 17, okay, 19. Because I got to be, I got to be careful because I can say things that are common to people. And, And this is what people do. That's what everybody knows, Right. Typical for a 15-year-old, 16-year-old to go through transitions in life and not know anything. But what I really feel for you is that, you remember I said there's been death assignments? Remember I was saying that? I feel like, and birds of a feather flock together, y'all together. So what I'm about to say to her, I could probably be saying to you also, just hear me out. Because of where you guys are and because of how God wants to use you so mightily, to help this generation who needs it a lot, I feel like that spirit of depression was really trying to wreck y'all's life. Mm -hmm. And it come from just the generation that you had to grow up in and what you saw. You understand? And how the enemy, who is a very perverted enemy, comes in and tries to steal things Mm -hmm. from us early to try to not allow us to get into our calls and destiny. Am I making sense? Yeah, I got, I got set free um, like two years ago from depression. So yeah, that sense. that's why I said it doesn't for you, but I look at you and I see the tears in your eyes. Look, we have to be transparent and real, right? I'm going to ask you a very transparent question. 
Are you free from it? I don't think so. You still deal with it a little bit? A little bit. Okay. It's a value thing. It's, it's, do I measure up? You know, trying to measure up to other people, looking at other people, comparisons. Yeah. Am I ever going to be there? Yeah. I see this person got here, but what about me? Yeah. Yeah, that's the lie of the devil. There's nothing new under the sun, right? You are valuable. You are chosen. You are one of a kind. God don't make mistakes. You have a very, 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 very humble heart. And you are meant to help people. You will have a gift of helps. You know what that is in Romans 12? You are the type of person, if somebody was on the road and needed a cake to eat, you go buy it for them. That's who you are. You have a mercy gift too. That's why you're so hard on yourself. And what you're doing is you're looking at certain people saying, I'm supposed to be like that. No. (laughs) You do that a lot. That's not that's not right. That's not who you are. You are special. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. A person like you could start a nonprofit organization in the future and God will just breathe on it just because of your heart. Amen. You can help the needy. You can help the orphans and widows with no problem. Amen. All right? You're a go getter. I know you are. You you have you have a strong leadership mantle on you. Amen. You know? But watch out. Don't let nobody come steal your destiny. Amen. Amen. You'll do mighty things for the Lord. Can you stand, both of you? Come here. Just stand right here. You are the same age. You're 18 and you're 19. How did y'all find out about this? Um, we like used to watch like Isaiah Saldivar's videos and like your videos, and like that's how we got into like deliverance ministry, all of that. Okay. Okay. Amen. Well, may you go further than we have. Amen. Yeah. Drop your hands. I want to see something with you first. Let me see. You feel that? That's a spirit. She's not yours. Uh-uh. You are unclean spirit. She doesn't belong to you. Mm -mm. You're not hiding now. I got you. You might as well give it up. Hmm? You want to destroy her? (laughs) You do, don't you? (laughs) Mm. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you thought you would hide. You thought you wouldn't come out, didn't you? Are you a witchcraft spirit? Speak. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Jezebel. <laughs> Are you in her family? Yes. You are? How many? How many? Has she manifested like this before? She has? When did? When's the last time she manifested like this? It's been ongoing for like four or five years. It is? Yeah. For four or five years. Yeah. We got to put an end to that. <laughs> That's a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Come here. Mm. Walk. Okay. I want to see how demonized she is. Can the girl hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. But that thing's speaking. Can you hear it speaking? Um. It comes to your front, right? It comes to the front. Now look, I'm prophetic by the grace of God. I can probably see more than some of these other people that have delivered you. And you're going to have to tell the whole truth. And I don't have to do it over microphones. you got to reveal the deep, dark thing that nobody knows. If you want to be truly free. Jezebel holds on to perversion. You understand? That means there's something that happened to you that is not nice that needs to be brought to the light and I don't think you've told people about it and I think when people deliver you they really yell and try to get that demon out and they fight and fight and fight and they don't show you proper love perfect love casts out fear love covers a multitude of sins I'm not going to fight Jezebel I'm going to see the value in you and call the purity back into you and every impurity will leave you you are not Jezebel's daughter do you understand? Has she told everything? 
you know everything? Has she told everybody everything? She's minute. She's she. Okay, so move the mic. A familiar spirit. There's a lot of rebellion and sexual morality. Are you rebellious? No, but I was. Are you immoral? No. Have you ever been immoral? Has anything been taken from you when you were younger? Yes. That's where it started. So it's a generational fingerprint where the enemy comes in and molests people. Move the mic. Okay, where are you from? Where's your family from? Cuba. From Cuba. I believe we can set her free completely. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe it. Listen. He who is in you is greater than any Jezebel. Does the Holy Spirit live in you? Yes. Is he the king? Yes. Does Jesus live on the throne of your spirit? Yes. Then let him live on the throne of your soul. You, one thing you have to do is never listen to a lie. What's happening also is you come into agreement with lies. Okay? But watch this. The power of God, one touch from Jesus Christ will set you free. Now, here's what I need you to do, church. Each deliverance is not usually the same. I deal with people differently depending on the demonic bondage. I need you guys to just understand and I know what I'm doing, okay? Please do not go, man, just shut up and cast it out. Because if you think it's that easy, come do it. Please. Amen. Please. I hate it when people watch me and then they go on the internet and they're like, well, I could have cast it. Oh, come do it then, man. And when that thing beats you up, I ain't going to help you. You know, I'll help you. I'm just playing. All right. Are you ready? Do you believe today is the day that you get set free? Yes. Do you believe Jesus Christ can set you free? Yes. Hallelujah. Keegan, I want you to back up. I don't need the mic. I'm just going to deal with this. You're precious in the sight of God. You're not only the things that I told you, the reason you feel so rejected. You know who Jezebel hates? Prophets. Hates them. Why would you allow Jezebel to take your prophetic mantle? Know who you are. Know who he's called you to be. Jezebel doesn't belong in you and using you and moving you and making you hate yourself and making you want to take life and all this stuff. You understand? Is abortions in your family too? It is. Who had an abortion? Your mama? Oh. Usually where the Jezebel is, there's an abortion too. So there ain't only Jezebel, there's probably Lilith also. Yeah, they work together. I'm, I'm going to deal with them all in one though. You understand? You in there? Huh? You in there? Huh? Now I want you to tell me, you unclean spirit, because you're an unclean spirit. I want you to tell me why you think you don't need to leave her. You're under the authority of truth. Tell me now. And what you say better stand in front of Jehovah God. You hear me? You hear me? Why ain't you leaving her? Why do you keep coming back to her? Huh? Don't cry now. Tell me. Huh? You want her? Then tell me this. Why haven't you left when others have tried to cast you out? Because why? I don't know. You don't know. Tell the truth. Why do you get to stay? Huh? Answer. Now. Why do you get to stay? speak no so let's go bible then okay I'm, I'm gonna read bible you ready it says this if you are truly a demon if you're really a demon then you have no choice but to make this not your home anymore that means you're going to leave this girl one he says he's given me power to tread on serpents and scorpions he says those who are covered under the shadow of the Almighty will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Does she abide in Jesus? Does she love Jesus? Is she covered? 
Is she covered under his shadow? Is she covered under his shadow? Okay, is the word of God absolute truth? Do demons tremble and obey? They do? Okay, then here's what I'm going to do. Then if the word of God is truth, and it says demons tremble and obey, then guess what? Hey, shh, I'm not done talking. Shh, shh, stop. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Can I finish? You're going to tell a servant of the Lord now. Shh. Hey, quiet. Quiet. I want to tell you what I'm about to do because I see how you're coming in. I'm right now sending an order into the heavens to shut off the access point. That means what happened in her bloodline. You can't enter back through that mirror. You can't come through her reflection like that anymore. When she looks in the mirror, she will no longer see you. She will see Jesus. She will see Jesus in her eyes, not unrighteousness, not impurity, not unholiness. You understand? So when I cast you out, you really leave and you never come back. You understand? Don't you dare. If you try to make your rounds and come back to her or her family, there will be angels waiting for you to arrest you and put you in a place you'll never come back from. Do you understand? As a matter of fact, I call angels to come assist me now. One on her right and one on her left. And I command you by the power and the authority of the King of glory, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you, you unclean Jezebelic spirit and all the demons that came with you, I tie you up with a three-strand cord that's not easily broken, and I command you to leave her life now. Now exit her body. Exit her body. <sighs> Out of her body. All the way. All the way. All the way. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to see you go all the way. All the way. Come on. Out of her mouth. Out of her life. Every familiar thing that's been attached to her bloodline, everything that was come through abortion, through immorality, through, through incest, all of that stuff. I command it to exit her body now. Every blood covenant, every blood covenant, every death assignment, I command it to be broken from her now. In Jesus' name, now go. Go all the way. All the way. All the way. She coughs up every time. Almost. Is it blood usually in it? It's not. I break the blood covenant. All the blood. Everything done with blood. The blood of Jesus is a portion. So I command that bloodline assignment to be broken too. Now exit her body. All the way. I want you to see if blood comes out. All right? You hear me, Carrie? Get it out. Come here. Stand right here. Take my hand. All the way. Bless the Lord. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hold on. Let me see something. Put your hand on your heart. Heart. It's right there. Yeah, there's something right here. Every wound of the heart, I commanded to go. Be healed. Brand new heart. Brand new start. Every limitation that has been on you, everything that's hindered you, I break its power now. Every spirit, yeah, that's what it is, a spirit of limitation that was put on you. I command this spirit of limitation to be broken. I command your feet to be able to go into the enemy's camp and to bring many back home in Jesus name Lord allow your young warrior to birth and allow this heart to be made brand new <sighs> yeah it's yours words of knowledge uh huh prophecy great grace in Jesus name amen amen alright let's stand to our feet Stand up. What is it? Huh? Not yet. Stand again. I'm about to do mass prayer. That's why I have us standing. 
Look at me. Look right in my eyes. Now I want you to say, Father, look, keep looking at me. Say, thank you. I'm pure. And no matter what has happened to me, you love me. You have chosen me. Make my body new. Make my heart new. I will not walk in the curse of my family. I will be the chain breaker. I will be the blessing, the start of blessings to my whole family. From this day forward, the enemy cannot have me. I am a temple of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, utilize me for miracles in Jesus' name. Now, I want to check something, okay? You ready? Love covers a multitude of sins. Perfect love casts out fear. <sighs> you need to receive grace. I grace you right now with the love of God that heals every trauma wound that you've had. Every trauma wound is being healed. Every place in your heart that has been darkened is being brought back to life. And light is your portion. You will no longer in the night see images that have haunted you and tormented you for so long. Now as you sleep, you will see angels. You will see the things of the Lord. I even feel like I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, some things you're going to think are dreams. But what it really is, is you're in the between that allows the spirit realm to be alive you will be visited by angels of the lord bringing you messages of assignment of places to go and things to do today the prophetic mantle is birthing in your life you will no longer be tormented in the night your night times will be times of god's glory no more visitations from unclean spirits but visitations from the angels of the lord in jesus name jesus name amen Hallelujah. Can I get the worship people up here real quick? I know you want prayer too, Angela. You'll get there. There'll be a special time. Okay. We got you. We got you. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do mass prayer. We don't, we don't have a large, large room right now, so we can do a lot. Hmm? Like my life is the, same. the same way but good you're about to get set free amen uh, you know what so many people need so much freedom listen the one that just said yes with the necklace it's your day too you know what I saw when you said yes it's like you, it's like you touched God's ear you touched his heart I saw the identity struggles. I saw the battles. I saw even, you know, even as I've ministered to some of these people, you've bared witness to some of the things that I've said to them. You know, the years that were stolen, the years where the enemy come and just ravaged your life. I even saw the witchcraft attacks that were sent, sent to you because you've tried to help some, some people and like it just turned upside down. You know what I mean? The Lord Jesus is going to set you free big time today. Hold on. Let a life go. It's funny. I like saw there's something I call like what looks like a spirit of man that comes and attacks a woman and tries to really steal who she is. What's your name? Angela. This thing gained access into your life and really made you carry some things that you weren't meant to be carrying. Today as I speak to you, there's going to be a whole shift and change. The Holy Spirit is upon you. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, everything that's hindered her, you go ahead and you'll make your way out of her life. Hold on. Every attack against her mind, against her life, against her health, against her identity, I command it to be broken now. Any, and I really see that thing is lingering on your back too. Right, I really just tense and causing a lot of does that make sense a lot of issues in the back that's a spirit come off of her back now come on I, come on 
Uh huh. Come out of her back. All the way. Oh. <sighs> Come out of her back now. There you go. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty name of Jesus. Yes, everything goes. Look, let's sing. You ready? Yeah, we're going to fight some battles. Let's do that. Let's do that again. And we're going to set this atmosphere for war. Hey, give me a start. Give me a start. I just want drums first. War. Think, think war. Think war. I want to set this atmosphere. Just drums, just drums. Hold on. Ah. Uh, you know what? All these Satanists, all these demonic voodoo, Santeria, Obia people, they like to use drums to invoke demons. How dare they? We use drums to stir the angels of heaven huh, to come and set the captives free. Ah. Yeah, this means war. Every battle you fought, you will now get victory. Fire, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, 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 Holy Ghost, fire, 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 Holy Ghost, fire. Every demon up and out, every demon up and out. Fire, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, 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 Holy Ghost, fire, 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 Holy Ghost, fire. Every demon up and out, every demon up and out. Fire, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, fire, fire. Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. Every demon up and out, every demon up and out. Fire, fire, Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. Every demon up and out, every demon up and out. Power, power, Holy Ghost power, 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 Holy Ghost power. Power, power, Holy Ghost power. Every demon up and out, every demon up and out. Power, power, Holy Ghost power. Power, power, Holy Ghost power. Power, power, Holy Ghost power. Every demon up and out. Every demon up and out. All right. This is how this will work, okay? All of you know what you are dealing with. You know what you're suffering with. You know where the attacks are, where the battles are. Amen? I know that the Spirit of the Lord is here, obviously. And He can do some amazing things, right? He can heal bodies, right? He can restore people's lives. What I'm going to do is, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, is I'm going to ask Him to highlight any area of your life that has demonic bondage uh, hiding in it. The way this works is light shines, darkness flees. That means that anything that is hindering you has to go. If your heart is in a repentant place, meaning you no longer want to be this way, you want to change your mind to what's right, then the Lord will set you free and he will deliver you. Now, first thing I want you to do is forgive anybody you know you need to forgive. Because if you do not forgive, it's going to be hard for the Lord to release you, especially if you're a Christian. So say, Lord Jesus, help me to forgive. To forgive. Wherever I need to forgive. Wherever I need to forgive. Heal any area. Heal any area in my heart, in my heart, in my mind, in my mind that is hindering me, that is hindering me from looking more like you, from looking more like you. Now, also, here's what I want you guys to do I want you to renounce, 
Yep, there they go. Renounce any area that you know that you're suffering in. So what this means, I renounce agreement with addiction. I renounce agreement with pornography. I I renounce agreement with lust. I renounce agreement with being angry all the time. Whatever it is, start to renounce this stuff. And you're giving the Lord a green light to come by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and to set you free. There we go. Now I will pray. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you. For setting me free. For setting me free. By your authority. By your authority. I ask you right now. I ask you right now. To come by your Holy Spirit. To come by your Holy Spirit. And set me free. And set me free. Now I will pray. Hold on. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I separate you from every demonic spirit, from every evil spirit, from every unclean spirit that has been hindering your life. I separate you from this demon. I separate you from this evil spirit. And I command it to come out of your body now. In Jesus' name, we command fire. We command fire. Fire on your body. Fire on your head. Fire on your career. Fire on your finances. Fire on your marriage. Fire on your health. May the purifying fire of Jesus Christ come upon your life now and release you from every tormented spirit. I separate you from every marriage destroying spirit. I separate you from every spirit that is taking your finances. I separate you from every spirit that is making you bitter. I separate you from every spirit that is causing you to be attracted to the wrong people. I separate you from every spirit that is holding you back from your call in ministry. I separate you from Satan's kingdom now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, listen. Speak to that thing in your life if you don't feel it moving. And say, leave me now. Come out of my life now. I am not your home. You cannot live in me anymore. I am the home of the Holy Spirit. You cannot be here. In Jesus' name. This is taking you from glory to glory. And from faith to faith. From glory to glory. Every spirit of pain... Every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of death, every spirit of cancer, every spirit attacking your ears, every spirit attacking your eyes, every spirit that's causing you issues in your stomach, I command it to leave your life now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just wait. I want the Holy Spirit to do what he needs to do, and then I'll start doing some other stuff. I feel like in my heart, there's people in here you were abandoned by your father, and you've been having to do everything in your own strength. I command every father wound, every pain of abandonment to be healed now, where you have been left And you've been expected to be somebody that you were never meant to be. I command that area to be healed now. In Jesus' name. Every spirit that was on you from a divorce, the pain of a divorce, I command that to be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you are in here, you've been cheated on. You you had an adulterer that, that committed adultery on you and it's broke your heart big time. I command that pain to be released from you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you were the adulterer. I ask the Lord to release you from that spirit of adultery, 
from that spirit of fornication. There's people in here, you have deep secrets of when you went and did stuff like that. And it's been hard to let go of the pain of doing that. I command that pain to be healed now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Watch this. Some of you have witchcraft spirits that are hindering you from prophesying. That are hindering you from operating in the prophetic ministry. I command every witchcraft spirit that is hindering you from walking into your prophetic call. I command it to release your life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, there are spirits that come from the marine kingdom. Spirits that come through sacrifices and things in the water. I'm going to cancel every attack from the water kingdom off of your life now. Every spirit that came from agreements in the water kingdom, every, every Jezebel, every Leviathan, every Python, every spirit from Obia, every spirit from Voodoo, every spirit from Santeria, every spirit from psychics, from tarot cards, from all of that stuff, I command it to leave their life now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your, do your daughter? Your daughter. We got a lot of people getting set free. Hold on. What's your name? Latoya? Jatoya. I said a few things up here. You told me you are married or not married. Okay, because I want to, I'm seeing something here. I just want to make sure that I'm going in the right direction. I saw the absence of the father, and I saw how bad it was affecting you as a daughter, and how alone you felt in some areas. And I believe that the Lord really wants to heal this area. You know, you see how it makes you nervous? It's, it's okay, though. The Lord wants to heal you so you don't have to suffer, you know? And I, I, I even saw, it was really, it's really funny because when I came in here, man, I could see there was so many death assignments. And I saw her dealing with that too. Yeah. You're worthy. You know, the devil attacks the ones that are going to give him the biggest headaches, right? Don't let the enemy take your life. Don't let him take your identity. And don't feel bad. I also see a struggle she's dealing with. Yeah. But I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah. And he wants to take that away from you too. Do Amen. you know what I'm talking about? Yes. I'm just not going to put yes. it out there. Yes. He's going to heal you from that, okay? Look, I want to tell you something. One day in the future, you will be loved by a man. Because she didn't believe that. Huh? Yes, true. Yeah. I could see it. She didn't believe that somebody could love her. Right. You're going to be very happy one day. Very happy with how God has intervened even on this day. And he's took back what the enemy tried to do. Are you ready to be free? The Lord's going to heal a lot of what's going on. Like her, like her, like her grades in yep. school, it's been affecting her. So yeah. It'll change. Amen. <sighs> Come off of her. Come off of her. Right now. Right now. Come off of her body. You demon, leave her body now. You unclean spirit that attacked her when she was abandoned. I command it to come out of her body now. In the mighty name of Jesus. All the rejection she's been dealing with. All the hurt she's been dealing with. I command it to go. I need one of the uh, ladies. Uh, touch her stomach. You're a mama. Touch her stomach. Come out of her stomach now. 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 Come on. You unclean spirit. Exit her stomach. You foul spirit. It's coming all the way. I want to see you leave her body. You came in as a breath, you leave as a breath. Right now. All the way. All the way. Come out of there. Come all the way off of her. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. 
Leave her body now. Jesus' name. Stand up, Mama. No, no, you stand. I want to talk to you. I'm going to break this whole thing so that, you're, the, so that the women of your family don't suffer anymore. Also, I want to mention, too, that I've been having, like, pains uh -huh. everywhere. You know, I'm a prophetic dreamer, so the Lord, I mean, yeah. so the demon tries to torment me. Sure. So, you know, I do a lot of praying for the family, you know, and things sure. like that, but I'm noticing that I'm having pains and, you know, the enemy's messing with my mind, and so, yeah, I go through the same thing she goes through. Yeah, yeah, we're going to break it. I want both of you to hold hands. We're going to break it once and for all. Say today, today, the curse stops. The curse stops. With us. With us. We. We. Change. Change. Our families. Our families. Bloodline. Bloodline. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Come off of them. Be free. In Jesus' name. All right, now it's time to get in the trenches, I believe. How are you, Mama? You're in pain? I want to know why my daughter, my children, my grandchildren. Why your daughter what? Me the way. Is your daughter here? No, they're not here. Oh. They even put me out from the same with them. I work hard and took care of all those yeah. children. You want? I know I'm just alone. Ah, oh, mama, listen, don't blame yourself for what the devil's done. Do you believe you're in a place where the Lord can restore everything? He will restore not only you, but your family too. You understand? Years of pain and hurt that come from your family because the devil brought discord because of stuff that happened. He'll cause it to change in a moment. You want to be healed? Yes, sir. You want your family to be set free? Yes, sir. Then it starts with you. Are you ready? Yes. Watch this. In the mighty name of Jesus, be healed. <laughs> All the way. All the way. All the heaviness and burdens. Leave her body. It's going. Yeah. <laughs> In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come here, mama. Stand up. Stand up. Come here. Come here. You're okay. Stand up. <laughs> Brand new. Yeah. Every witchcraft attack. Leave your body. Now. Now. <laughs> All the way. That witchcraft attack. I command it to come off your body now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave her completely. Every curse put over her. Every curse spoken over her. Command it to go, and I command her back and her body be completely healed in Jesus' name. Can you hear me? You want to come here? Help her up. Help her up. Ready? I got you. One. Now, look, I want you to get your strength about you. A little wobbly. How do you feel? Oh, I just feel like a big something was holding me down came off of me. <laughs> something that was holding you down came off of you. Amen. Let me see the cane. Can you walk? Tell me if you feel a difference. Does your butt? My butt was hurting, killing me. Does it hurt now? A little. It isn't hurting as bad? No. It Where? just feels striking. Where? Back. Okay, but it's better, right? <laughs> it's a lot better? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is a lot better. Amen. Let me pray for this. You want to help me? Put your hand on her back. I command the rest of this back... Everything in her lower back, I command it to be completely healed right now. 
Every spirit of pain in her back, come up and out now. In Jesus' name. <sighs> All the way. Now check it again. Check it again. Walk in faith. You tell me, Mama. Better. You feel much better? Yeah. You felt like a thousand pounds came off of you? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, Come on, let's give a hand God. clap to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't feel that depression now, do you? No. Yes, sir. No, I feel much better. I was just feel like I was going crazy. Well, you're not going crazy. And the Lord was on top of me. Yeah. It's gone. The Spirit of the Lord has set you free. Thank you. Freedom is your portion. Yes. Your family will change. They will look at you different. You understand? Yes, sir. The Spirit is gone. It's not going to visit you again. Okay, thank you very Amen. much. God bless you. God bless you, Mama. May your, may your mind be whole. May your body be whole. And may everything change. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. She's precious. Man, so many people in need, huh? First time here? Yes. First time coming to see me? Yes. What's your name? Gabriela. Where are you from? Brazil. Ah, I thought, todo bem. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Where's my uh, Brazilian Flavia? She's on the ground, okay. You speak English, though? Yes. Okay. Are you here to be set free? Yes. Are you by yourself? No. With my son and my husband. All right here. What's your name? I'm Jay. Jay? Yep. Never seen me before? I've always had a good time too. Uh, what? Do you have pretty good size following on Instagram? I'm sorry? Do you have a good size following on Instagram? No, 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 no. I'm not I, no I, Instagram guy. I just follow you and I, uh, I, it, you look you got a little bit of a look to you that I seen you somewhere but Yeah, no, no, man. I'm Who not an Instagram man? guy. <laughs> All right. So, husband? Yes, sir. Uh, son. Your son? Yeah, my stepson. Okay. Why are y'all here? Long story short, financially, I got stolen, lost almost everything last year because I had a trucking business and I lost everything. They stole the trucks from me. And we've been dealing with... Like a spiritual battle, man. Between y'all? Even... Even going outside, people pulling guns at me, like people what? really trying to kill me. We went, one day we were praying at the beach and we passed by somebody, this lady, there was nobody at the beach and this lady just manifested, started uh, screaming at us saying she was going to kill us, man. And um, since then, we've been seeing our life just go down, like been two years from now. Your family Christians? Um, I grew up in a Catholic family, and I'm new in the faith, you know. Any spiritism in your family? Um, I think so, maybe. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you something. I don't want y'all to hear me the wrong way when I say this, okay? Please don't hear me the wrong way. I have to ask this question, though. Has this been the story of your life, or did this start when y'all were married? When we got married. All right, the story you mean like... Have you been going through this normally in life or did it happen when y'all became married? Because I'm trying to pinpoint something here. And right, I've, I've, got been, it. I've been married before, bud. She's been married before. No, too. I've been. And she, she did too. Yeah. Right? So, like I said, he's my, my son. Sure. And his, his dad doesn't... Have no, anything to do. No, nothing went through. Understood. Him. Yeah. And You love him, don't you? Yeah. And I've been married before, and, you know, things didn't work out. Sure. It was a crazy story, too. And then I feel like my life been, I, I grow too quick, and then all of a sudden, man, everything just, I lose everything, dude. And it's, I, I've been starting, I'm 36 right now. I started my life like three times already, man. Sure. You know, and Me then. Me too. It's, <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's, I'm 36. You know, it's, I've done it three times. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be all right. I, amen. <laughs> Listen. The past doesn't define you. But the reason I'm asking about what happened as y'all got married, and y'all just learned from this because it could help somebody else, is if we don't deal with the baggage of the last, we can bring it into the prior. You understand? I don't know much about your relationship. I'm not seeing much, but it broke apart for a reason. 
Is this marriage having f battles now? Oh, yes, sir. Every single week, dude, like hard. So here's what I'm going to do for you guys. You go before the Lord. We'll go before the Lord, and we'll ask him for forgiveness for the things of yesterday that are still alive in our hearts. You understand? To forgive us for the prior divorces, for choosing these things, and to make this one the right one. Pray this with me. It works, I promise. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Forgive us. Forgive us. For being in divorces. For being in divorces. We know. We know. You want, want families to be whole. We want families to be whole. We break. We break. We break. We break. Generational. Generational. Curses. Curses. Of divorce. Of divorce. Off of our life. Off of our lives. Any attacks. Any attacks. Of rejection. Of rejection. Abandonment. Abandonment. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Break from our life now. Break from my life now. Curses. Curses. Spoken over us. Spoken over us. From previous marriages. From previous marriages. Break now. Break now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. And heal us, Lord. And heal us, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Listen, when I pray for you today, the sabotage ends as long as as you put him first and as long as you put her right behind him and then he falls in place when y'all fall in place I felt the Lord tell me to tell you something very sternly you're a man of God no you are a man of God Amen. period Amen. your past does not define you your situation now does not define you what God says about you is what defines you. You are a man of God. And. That's my mom yelling over there. <laughs> cheerleader, right? <laughs> and listen. You may not understand it now. I know you work out. But hear me on this. You will also be a pastor to men. Oh, amen. And you will teach them how to be men. Even though that's been a little tough for you now. I've what been you, feeling that in my heart. Yeah, what you've been going through is preparation to help other men not go through it. <laughs> that responds to everything, man. He's going to use your test for a testimony. Huh? I had a puzzle in my head, and, it, and I was like trying to put the puzzle together, and, and it was kind of like what you just said, bud. Yes, you will grow up a lot of broken men, even men older than you. They will come to you to be restored because of your story. You will also write your story in a book. You will put this book on Amazon. After this testimony has been restored, this book, you ever read the uh, John Eldridge Wild at Heart book? It's a great book. A lot of broken men, a lot of, no. a lot of people read this book. I saw a correlation to kind of like a book like that. This book you write is going to be very popular, and a lot of men are going to read it, and they're going to read the story of how you were able to overcome even by the mistakes you made. Amen. Your mistakes are going to be people's solutions. Amen, brother. Amen. Because God's graceful. Amen. Your marriage will be restored. Your marriage will be healed. I see you trying so hard within yourself to make things right. And you become frustrated with yourself. A lot of self. You don't want to be a failure. You want to win. You want, you want everything to be whole. Don't blame yourself anymore. I understand. But it's not your fault. We all make mistakes. Put the solution Jesus in the middle. Because you came here today, the Lord is going to have grace on you. I'm going to pray for both of you. He's going to heal you, restore you. The boy will be okay. Because what happens to you will flow into him. Listen. Hear me out. They don't know yet. They got an idea. This man, this young man, will grow up as a preacher of the word. You will. Come on. Don't expect him to be a doctor. Don't expect him to be a lawyer. He will be a crusade evangelist, Amen. leading millions upon millions to know Jesus Christ. Amen. You will preach the word. You will stand in nations and on stadiums you never thought you would stand on. And you will bring God's children back to him. Amen? Wow. Amen. <laughs> it's yours. That's called impartation. <laughs> be free. Get off. Be loosed. <laughs> Brand new. This heart. This heart, I'm going to tap this heart. This heart be healed. Every stone, every chisel, 
every crack in this heart, I command it to soften everything he's had against himself. I command it to go. And every burden that he has carried in battle against himself, I command it to come to an end from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Holy Spirit, anoint him and appoint him for purpose now. It's time. It's time. It's time. Your yesterday does not define you. The words of others do not define you. You will not be sabotaged anymore. Now be free. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I love you, man. Yes. Amen. I want to touch some heads. You know what happened, right? Ah. The battles, the depression, the heaviness, the things in your mind. Trust me. Don't matter. You're a mighty, mighty man of God. Amen. May this word, may this word be here. Amen. Amen. What's up, man? Let me do something because time's getting away from us. <laughs> now is your time. Be free. Holy Spirit, fill her. Fill her more. More. In Jesus' name. If I start moving, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Come off of them. Mighty name of Jesus. Ah, let her go. Hey, let her go. Let her go. You, you unclean spirit. You evil spirit. Come off of her. Come off of them now. Now, stop hiding. Stop hiding. Was she manifesting earlier? Hey, hey, who are you? Who are you? You speak? Huh? You speak? Yes, you speak. You can hear me. What are you doing to her? Huh? What are you doing to her? How did you get in her body? Open your mouth and talk. Who's with her? Yeah, I can tell you she, she deals with a lot of suicidal thoughts. Yeah. Do you know where it entered? No? It's a spirit of shame. You see how it's covering her up? She's ashamed of something from her past. Who are you to her? Boyfriend. Boyfriend? I must be on to something, huh? Hey, every spirit of shame from things that happened to her in her past... Listen to me now. She will not be ashamed by you anymore. You will not use her in a seductive way. You will not attract people to her. Your time in her life is up. I separate you from her now. Now listen to the word of the Lord and leave her body. If she truly doesn't want you, leave her body. If she doesn't want you, you have to leave. Does she want you? Does she want you? Oh, she does want you? You're a liar. You know that. Demons lie. Does she believe in Jesus? Is he her Lord and Savior? Then how can you stay in the temple? Aren't you getting tormented in there? Don't you hate being in somebody who don't want you? Doesn't that suck? Huh? If she believes in Jesus, you come out of her body now. Two masters can't live in the same house. Leave her body. And let her stand up free. Let this girl go. I'm not fighting you. Come on, come on, come on. Exit her body. Stand up. I got you. Your name? Beth. Beth. You stood back up. Why did you stand back up? Do you forgive yourself? Uh, uh, I want to speak to Beth. Beth, do you forgive yourself? Are you holding on to something from the past that's causing you to feel ashamed? You see how that devil's covering up when it manifests, the demon? It's because you're ashamed of something. Did something happen to you early in life? You don't know? It did, didn't it? Who's the demon in her? Who's the demon? 
Every demon has a name. If you're really a demon, you have a name. I want you to tell her who you are. Who are you? Who are you? Answer. I'm waiting. You're not going to answer? No? You want to destroy her? You want to take her life? You don't like her, do you? Because she's going to mess your kingdom up. She's going to set a lot of people free and do a lot of good things for Jesus. You know that? I see her saving babies. I saw her saving babies. Babies that were supposed to come, not supposed to come from wombs, will come from wombs. Yeah, many babies will be born because of this woman. Many, many warriors in the kingdom of God. Yeah. Do you know why she reacted like that? I know that there's things that happen in her childhood. Um, a lot of abuse. But the baby thing was huge. Yeah. I'm not sure. You're not sure? We'll find out. Hey, Beth, come here. Beth, come here. What does the baby thing make you go, woo, for? It triggered something. I don't know. I mean, like, many years I had dreams where I would see women that had abortion and, like, uh. their spirits were screaming inside. And I, I kept having, I haven't had abortion myself, but I, I kept seeing about women that. Because you're going to save them through Christ from having abortions. Why would the Holy Spirit show me that? Because his destiny for you is bigger than any demon's attack. So when demons don't listen, I just prophesy what the truth is. And the truth is you will save many babies. You ready to be freer than ever? You ready to be free from these suicidal thoughts and this unclean spirit trying to take your life? Listen, I don't know how y'all have been living. Live right. If you haven't been living right, live right. Because if not, this thing attacks. You understand? One of the, uh, now, I'm not trying to call you out. I'm just doing it for the sake of her, and I'm sure you love her. I'm sure you haven't been perfect, right? None of us are. But you can, you can move towards it now, right? Honor the body, honor the person, and these demons won't visit her anymore. Say, Jesus, forgive me for trespassing. Heal me. Heal me. And heal my friend. <laughs> and heal Beth. Yes. From any pain. From any pain. That is inside of each one of us. That is inside of each one of us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' now name. Now say, I sever. You say it too. I sever. The unhealthy soul tie. The unhealthy soul tie. Between us. Between us. Jesus. Jesus. Give us grace. Give us grace. <laughs> All the way. Come out of there. All the way. Come out of the belly. Now. Now. Uh-huh. Out. And you too. Be free. Be free. Out of here. Come on. Now you hear me when I speak. Come out. Come out. Set her free. All the way. Work it out. Reveal anything words of knowledge show you. <laughs> Be healed. Be healed. Every attack against your body. Every attack against your life. Be healed. Put your hand on your stomach. Hold on, hold on. Uh-huh. Come on. <laughs> All the way. You feel something in there? Do you know what that is? You don't? What, it feels like it's turning? St restriction? Like tension? It's an unclean spirit. Probably came in through your life somewhere. 
Do you forgive everybody? Do you forgive? She ha- it both happened to you? Yeah. Then say this. Say Jesus. Jesus. Visit us. Visit us. Set us free. Set us free. Break. Break. Every generational curse. Every generational curse. That has attacked us. That has attacked us. Every familiar spirit. Every familiar spirit. Leave us now. Leave us now. Let me see. All the way. It's not in your stomach. Hold on. Let me ask y'all something. Are y'all a little stubborn? Yes. You are? A little like strong? And, yeah. Because you've had to be. Our mother and father. Yeah. It's going to be hard to get in there if you're stubborn now. All right? The Lord wants to set you free. Give me a hand. Look at me in my eyes. Anything afflicting this woman, I command you to come out of her body now. I saw your grandmother. Are y'all sisters? I saw a grandmother. When I looked in your eyes, it's like I saw boom. And I saw, yeah. Hey, hey. What, what is this with the grandmother? There's a strong connection here. Per what I know, um, my grandfather, he's alive. My, my yeah. grandmother's not alive. But he did say before she passed, she was having visits. Um, she's had some experiences. He doesn't believe. and but I, My grandmother, she believed. And I think it lingered from my grandmother to my mother and then to me and my sister. What lingered? I don't know if it's Jezebel, the spirit of control. I saw when I looked at you, I saw a grandmother. Poof, push out. I believe that there's something generationally from the grandmother. But it isn't all bad, though. This is also a prophetic mantle that grandma was carrying. Yeah? Grandmother has given you, there's a portion of her spirit through the Holy Spirit that is good. Did you know her well? You didn't get to meet her? She died when I was two. The mantle that she didn't fulfill, you will fulfill. Give me your hand. I need you to receive. You hear me? It's going to activate, and you're going to change a lot of things within the family. (laughs) Receive. Ah, you're so stiff, girl. Every hindrance against yourself, I command it to go. 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 Come off of her. Come off of her. Every hindrance. Every attack against her body, everything that's trying to stop her from receiving from the Holy Spirit, I command you to leave her now. Leave her now. And I felt like the Lord said it's against yourself. I command right now everything against yourself to leave. All the way. All the way. Every barrier, every hindrance must go right now. In the mighty name of... Yeah. Must go. I command you to be activated for God's glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Every python spirit has been restricting her, not allowing her to walk into her call and destiny. I command it to come off of her now. Yes. You will not restrict her. You will not hold her back. And every spirit that's been lying to you guys, not allowing you to walk in your destiny and call, I command these lying spirits to shut their mouth and to leave your body now. You will not walk in the... Yeah, there we go. Leave her. Come on. I know you're moving in there. Your time's up. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know what the problem is? Let me teach real quick. You're over-responsible. Y'all have been over-responsible. You know what I'm saying? Like, with so much stuff, you feel over-responsible for many things. You got to put the burdens down. See, I should be able to do something. Let me show you something. You come here. I want to just show you something, okay? (laughs) You know her? Got you. Oh, my Lord. I might not need to. (laughs) She's she's coming with some fire, huh? Uh, you, You worship a lot. You dance a lot. Yes. You have, you don't do much with flags, do you? No. No, no. But I saw you like a banner. Mm-hmm. A banner of hope. There's a reason I've called you forward. Yes. 
You don't mind being the example. No. So other people can get their freedom. Yes. And other people can get their victory. Yes. That means you carry a voice of hope. Yes. That means you know things. Yes. That means you must be a prophetic person yes. also. Hmm. A heavy dreamer? Very. Very heavy. Oh. I see, yeah. Uh, I, 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 as, I, as I venture into the realm of the spirit, I see you. You're dressed wonderfully in purity and white, glowing so bright, walking through green pastures, still water. Psalm 23 pops into my head. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That shows me you have walked through the valley of the shadow of death, where your life has almost left this earth several times. But as you've walked through that valley, you have survived. Yes, and though you, you walk Lord. through the valley of the shadow of death, yes, no evil Lord. could come upon you. Because okay. you have been anointed from birth. Yes, Father. You have been anointed at the beginning. Yes, Father. The Lord says, I marked her for hope from the beginning. From the beginning. Have you ever attempted to raise the dead? Yeah, once. You have? Mm -hmm. Who Who is this person that I see dead? I worked in a hospital. And this lady. Yeah. The Holy Spirit told me to go back and pray for her. And I just did it. Did she come back to life? Next day, they um, let out the hospital. She came back to life. Oh, it was another. Thank you. It was a lady at work. Something happened to her, and she just went out. And everybody ran away, and I ran to her, and I just put my hands on her and started praying. And she came back. Yes. You have a dead raising anointing on you. Because uh, I saw a dead person, and I saw you pray for the dead person, and I saw the dead person come back to life. I had a dream. I was walking through a cemetery on top of dead people. Uh-huh. Oh, you got the dead razor anointing on you for sure. Ah, mighty is the power of the Holy Spirit in you. I want to see into your future. Not who, how, because you know all the bad, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we love the prophetic, huh? Listen. Are you the guy? Oh, it's you. Okay, okay. I thought it was you. God bless you, bro. I want to prophesy. Now watch. Oh, wait. Listen. I saw you. Walking up a mountain with skis. The mountain was full of snow. I felt like the Holy Spirit said she tried to walk up a mountain and it was ill-equipped. There was a time I think you've tried to venture into ministry prematurely. And it got really hard for you. It did. Yeah. And, and you actually, what looks like you failed. But you actually should have took it as a moment of learning. Yeah. And I you're, am. huh? I am now. You are now? Mm -hmm. Amen. Because what has happened is... You will not walk in the same way in a cold mountain with snow on it with not the right equipment. I think the Lord is showing me this because I believe, I know we're in Miami right now. Do you live in Miami? I've met you before, three years ago. Oh, you did? Where? Across the street. Oh. I've been trying to get her. But I didn't talk to you this way. No. Today I either. talked to you differently. Yeah. Because I want to put you in your destiny. Miami's not where it stops. It's where it starts, but not where it stops. I think you're going to be in a colder region when it's all said and done. The Lord is going to send you to a place. I also see in you being able to set many people free from addictions. Yeah. A lot of addictions. You're going to see a lot of people that are on drugs and stuff, and the Lord is going to give you a grace to see into their heart and set them completely free. 
And even, you know how we walk by them drug, drug addicts on the street, and you just see them there? And, like, they've been ministered to, and people can't get them set free? I felt like the Spirit of the Lord saying, you're being given that grace. He gave it through, how? What happened? I mean, she's referring, I guess. Uh, she's had her dealings with you know just marijuana but ultimately I judged a lot and I had to learn by experimenting with myself uh -huh. to then have grace okay yeah, so. so now you now have, have grace have, yeah. to set them free yeah to understand from the other side good then today you're activated by grace into what you need to and may this spirit that has been a, been holding you back and afflicted you be broken from your life in Jesus name Amen. Now, I want to talk to you. How are you, Catherine? Good to see you. Your lower back. Do you have problems? Why do I see a disc out of place? It's probably out of place. Something's wrong. Something's wrong? Huh? Yeah, sciatica. Oh, you have sciatica. I don't think it's that. From having your nephew. You don't? You think it's spiritual? Yeah, because I think what happened is, is a disc was moved, and it's why you're having these, them problems, the pinching and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. I believe the Lord wants to heal you from that. And it comes from having an improper foundation. So do you know when you have an improper foundation uh, spiritually, it can affect you physically. It can affect your body. That's why it's so important that we have a proper foundation. Is your foundation good now? Trying to be. <laughs> ah, now I know. Now I'm seeing a little bit, bit deeper. Okay. Definitely trying to be. Put your hand on her back. The Lord loves you and he has grace. Change what needs to be changed. Let go of what needs to be let go of. Is there a relationship? Is he here? No? Is he good for you? Does he love Jesus? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, right? Love your neighbor as yourself. The goal is to love yourself. Now I know why the Holy Spirit's having a hard time penetrating some of these areas. It's because you're having trouble in these areas. It's time to let go and let God. May your back be healed now. May it pop into place. May that disc shift into place. And I'm going to say a prayer that may not be a great one for you, but may he remove everything that's hindering you. And it, because you have a hard time doing it sometimes, may he remove any addictions. May he also remove any relationships that are hindering you from being the woman of God you're meant to be. Because you need to birth the prophetic destiny that you have. In Jesus' name. Now be healed and be filled. In Jesus' name. Amen. Continue to love. Everything else will be changed. Amen. Amen. Nice to meet you. <laughs> It'll be okay. God's good. He's graceful. Amen. You need to know who you are, though. You need to accept who you are. Because I see you helping a lot of people, but you're having trouble helping yourself. The Love Sisters. Why, your last name is Love. You're good at loving everybody else. So now we love ourselves. Say, Jesus, help us to love ourselves. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you guys. Oh, man. How are you? I know. A lot of people do. I got you. What do you need? Come here. Come here. Let me pray quick, guys, and then we got to get out of here. It's 1130. Strokes? My daughter's been having schizophrenia and all kind of stuff happening to her, and I just need deliverance from her. That's what Amen. Here. I will pray. Receive grace for your family and yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus, <laughs> everything in Jesus' name. I come into agreement with what you say. In Jesus' name, be healed. Yeah, be healed. One second. In Jesus' name. Is that what you need, him? Oh, really? Yeah. For sabotage? Yeah, like spiritual attack. Okay, ready? Every spirit of witchcraft and sabotage, I command it to leave your life now. Leave her. Leave her. <laughs> Come off of her body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Be loosed in Jesus' name. Pray anything.
be free. Every schizophrenic diagnosis, everything that's attacked you, I break its power. In Jesus' name. <laughs> All the way. All the way. <laughs> Come off of her. Every demon. Leave her. <laughs> be healed. Be free. Be free. Be free. Oof. Be free. Come off of her. Every verbal word that was attacking her, I commanded to go. In Jesus' name. <sighs> Come off of her. Come off of her. Jesus' name. <laughs> Somebody, hey, jump on her, Virginia. I got you. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you from? No, no, no. Where's the girl from? Miami. Where's her family from? Where's her family from? Tell me where her family's from. Where's the family from? Every soul fragmentation, I command you to come into place now. Everything, 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 every soul fragmentation go. Every spirit of idolatry, every spirit of witchcraft. Uh-uh, stop, stop listening. Receive grace. <laughs> come out, come out, all the way. <laughs> come off of her. Be free. Stand her up. Come here. Come here. You're being attacked in your mind, aren't you? A lot of thoughts against yourself. What do you need freedom from? Okay. All right. Every witchcraft attack against you. I break its power. <laughs> come off of her. All the brain fog. Go. In Jesus' name. What do you need? Restore her heart right now. Fresh grace, fresh impartation. Every attack against this woman, I command it to lose her body now. All the heaviness, every false responsibility. <laughs> Go. Be healed. Spanish. Delor fuera. Enfermedad, uh huh. Enfermedad fuera. En el nombre de Jesús. Yeah, Delor. Uh huh. Espíritu. Espíritu fuera. En el nombre de Jesús. Más poder. Más fuego. Más fuego. En el nombre de Jesús. Move. Check. <sighs> Be healed. Be made. Uh, oof. Hey, hey, let me ask you something. What's your name? I know you, right? Never met you? I thought you were here before. Never met you? You worship? I used to dance. You used to dance? Yeah. Do you sing? I sing it by myself to the Lord. Do you know how to sing? I wouldn't know how to do The Lord that. will give you a voice for him. Not only will you dance, but he, I saw him giving you a voice for him. You will start to worship very anointed, very anointed. He will mark you to be a worshiper. You will lead. <laughs> that means every attack against yourself has to go. Everything that's hindered you has to go. Every mind battle has to go. Everything that's oppressed you in your head, it has to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive grace. Receive grace. Who is this to you? Your son? All of y'all are together? No, my husband and children, other children are sitting down, but this is my son. Okay. I brought him up. Which one? The white one. 
You ready? Ready to be healed? Father, I thank you for this young man. I command his eye be completely healed right now. Every damage in his eye, all nerve damage, anything that was done to him, I command it to go and be healed. <sighs> in Jesus' name. Are you blind in it? You can't see. You can't see? Can you see? Can you see? I, I command you to open and see now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blind eye, open. Do you see anything? Any light? More light. I command light in his eye. More light. More light. Jesus' name. Open it. Keegan, I believe his eye will come back to life. I want you to pray for it, okay? Where, where? Originally. I know they're your children. But where does she come from? Tanzania. Look at me. I want to tell you, I, I break now every witchcraft attack that's been coming against your generations. Hmm? Hold on. I can see it. Let this girl go. You will not stop her destiny. You will not stop her call. Every spirit of rejection that's come against her, that's tried to attack her heart, I command it to be removed now. She's been battling? You as the dad. She been battling? I, re rejection stuff a little bit? Do you feel it attacking you? Yeah, I can see the, a little bit of the movement. That's why I'm asking. Let me ask the Lord to grace you. Father, I thank you for the grace and love of the Father. Thank you for the family. I pray right now from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. Great grace. Be restored. Be healed. In Jesus' name. Yeah. No more attacks. Complete wholeness. <sighs> yeah, it's yours. Bless him. Thank you for this man of God, Lord, who said yes to you. Great father. Great comforter. Great missionary. Great man of God. Bless him and his family in Jesus' name. Where's the... Oh, you're the, you're the dad? Okay. I've, I've, I've been watching you, man. I've been ca I caught you in the beginning. So, I saw you. The way you see him now... You will not see him this way three years from now because the Lord is marking him today, if you're not already, for ministry on the streets. Some of the toughest cases God's going to use this man to break their heads. Some of the toughest cases you're going to be able to come in with hard love in a good way and make men from the streets. Does that bear witness? Trust me. The light of Christ is on this man heavy. I don't know what you believe. You believe in Jesus, right? You do? Amen. Trust me. It's going to be amazing what God does with this man of God. You're here for him though, right? What does he need? Voices. What did you did did it come after you started watching something? With what? It came after I got expelled from school. Did you feel for bad stuff? Yeah. Did you feel like a failure? Did you feel like a bad Did you feel like a failure? You know God can deliver you, man. He can heal you. You want him to? You believe in Jesus Christ? Say these words with me. 
Jesus, I forgive myself. I ask you to bring your grace and heal me from every seizure and let my ears come back to life. Can I shoot one more time? One hundred percent now. Both ears. Hear me now by the power and authority of Jesus Christ. I command any spirits that are hindering his hearing completely go one hundred percent in Jesus' name. All right, let's check now. I think this is a problem though. Watch this. Any rebellion, not listening to his parents, any spirit of rebellion, I command it to leave his body completely. Because notice, it's your voice. You see how muffled it is with your mind? Yeah. Because he has him. And he's not afraid of him. Yeah. I mean, he's not. Every spirit of rebellion towards the mother, I command it to be broken. I command his ears to hear his mother's voice in Jesus' name of wisdom. I think there was a problem with rebellion towards the mother and what she was saying because she was harder on you. So you want to make sure you keep forgiveness to her.
right, okay, I got that. Yes, I, it's almost 12, so I want to touch some heads so we can end the night. Amen. Bless him, Lord. In Jesus' name. Oof. <laughs> Receive it. Bless him. By the way, tomorrow, if you guys come, I got you. We're going to do it. She likes girls, and it bothers me. Touch, we got it. Touch your heart. Yeah. I've been attacked by the dark side. Sure. And I even saw the henchman one time. Sure. And and I think because he cannot get to me, so I think he went to my daughter. Is yeah. that true? No. No, but why is my daughter like girls? Because we don't have people like that in my family. Sure. The enemy's against a lot of the generation. Hmm? The enemy's against a lot of the generations that are coming and bringing perversion. All right? So don't blame yourself or don't blame your family. No, I mean, I mean some, something. Are you standing in the gap for your daughter? What time is it? Are you standing in the gap for your daughter? What time is that for her? Are you putting your feet down? Are you saying, I'm here for her? Yeah, I'm here for her. We have a much better relationship now. Then I will pray, and I will pray that that spirit will leave her as I pray for you. Okay. Every demonic spirit against the family, I command it to go. And I command this, this daughter of hers to be set free. Now receive freedom. <laughs> Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Come. Let me get down this aisle. Be free. Be healed. Be healed. Every demonic attack go. Have I seen him before? I remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Okay. You want to pray for him? Bless him. I'm doing this today because I, ooh, 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 receive. Be healed. <laughs> it's yours. Receive. Be family. Be saved. Be healed. Be delivered. May the grace of Jesus touch them all. In Jesus' name. Ah, ah, ah. Hey. Hey. Fire on your body. Fall on your body. You know her? Who's that? Sister? Wife? Is she under attack? Have you been under attack? Witchcraft? Do you know where it comes from? Family? Say, I break all family witchcraft from my life now. In Jesus' name. Let her go. Let her go. Come out of her body. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Leave her body. <laughs> Come off of her. Your time's up. Your time's up. Hey, out of her body. Mighty name of Jesus. Come off of her all the way. You serpent. You wicked spirit. Ah. Ah. <laughs> all the way. All the way. You came in as a breath. You leave as a breath. Now. Go. Come all the way off. You heard me. Exit body. When I give the command, you come out of her body. You can't live in her anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command you, leave her body. All the way. All the family witchcraft, all the attacks from her life, I command it to go now. Now submit yourself to Christ and leave her body. All the way. All the way. Every word curse, every generational thing that's been coming against the family, I break its power. Every spirit that's been leading her into bad places, I command it to go. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Hey. 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 Who are you? Who are you? Huh? Who are you? 
Are you a demon? Are you attacking her? Destroying her? Do you have a name? You come from the family? Yeah, you do. You're a lying spirit, man. Uh, you come from the family. Huh? Huh? She doesn't love you, does she? She hates you, don't she? Yeah, she does. Your time in her body's up. You hear me? You're an unclean spirit. You've been attacking her life and her health. Your time in her body's done. You hear me? <laughs> Come out of her. Get out of her body. Exit her body now. All the way. All the way. All the pain you've caused her. I break your power. What do you need? Where? What's wrong with it? What's wrong? Tumor? So, it's a spirit that causes this, you know? Okay, you forgive him? Exit her body. The spirit causing the sickness. Come out of her body now. Now. Now, all the way, <sighs> come out of her womb, all the way, all the way, put your hand on your stomach, come out of there now, now, be completely healed in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Forerunners, I'm about to end this. May every attack. Worship team, y'all are good. Y'all are good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Receive grace, woman of God. May your mouth speak the glory of God. May every attack that's come against you be broken. May your mouth speak the things of the Holy Spirit. May you prophesy. May you speak words of knowledge in Jesus' name. She's under attack. What's wrong with her? Okay. Kaylee. All the way. Every attack against her. Every attack against her generation. Every attack against her mind and body. I command it to go. In Jesus' name. Hey, leave her and leave her generations. Be healed. All the way. Everything that's attacked the family, I command it to go. In Jesus' name, be free. <sighs> Come off of her. Come off of her. Every spirit of rage, anger, hatred. Leave her body. Leave her body. All the way. All the way. All the way. Leave her. Leave her. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Be free. Every attack. Bless him. Be free. Be filled. In Jesus' name. Lord, bless her. Increase her. May there be no hindrances. May the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon her like never before. May everything her hands touch be blessed. And may people continue to be set free for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come, come. Oh, you were waiting patiently. You ready? Right now, Lord. Grace her. Bless her. More power. More power. <laughs> Jesus' name. Hey, it's finished, guys, till tomorrow. God bless you. See you guys soon.